Ahoy everyone and thanks for tuning in. Today I am bringing you a brand new Brawl deck tech with Amara, Soul of the Accord, as the commander. Before we get started, a bit of upkeep. Please take a second to hit those subscribe and notification icons. There are new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And whilst you're in a button pressing mood, why not hit the thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Also, please check out the channel's sponsor, Arcane Cards. They stock MTG singles and plenty of sealed product. You can find the link to the shop down in the description, as well as a code to get 10% off your first order. With that said, let's get going. Imara is a super cheap commander, 2 mana for a 2-2 who pops out a 1-1 token every time she becomes tapped, so hopefully that will give us a fantastic Selesnia token army. Starting out with some more token generators, Conclave Cavalier is a Vigilant 4-4 who brings a 2-2 knight along for the ride when it dies. Leonian War Leader creates two lifelinking cats each time it attacks. I couldn't help but put Golden Guardian in the deck, I love this card, and we just need to pit it against another 4 power creature and it flips. Hopefully there will be a few of those later in the deck. When it does flip into Goldforge Garrison, we can pay 4 for a 4-4 Golem token. Legion's Landing is the quintessential standard token generator. You get a 1-1 vamp when it enters, and after it's flipped, we can pay 3 for more. Now we come into Saprolink territory. Tender Shoot Dryad is another favourite of mine. With all these tokens around, Ascend shouldn't be hard to achieve, and when it happens, we get a 3-3 army. Overgrown Armasaur is great against weenie decks, blocking smaller creatures gives us even more Saprolings. Finally, there's Sapling Migration for either 2 or 4 saps. The pivotal parts of the deck are next. A lot of our tokens have life gain, so we should be able to consistently draw cards with Dawn of Hope. And the mana sink of making soldiers is great too. Divine Visitation is a huge part of the deck. All of these tokens we're producing get instantly upgraded to 4-4 angels, so we want to get this enchantment out and not lose it. Since we're creating angel tokens, why not throw in a few non-token ones too? Resplendent Angel can also make its own angel tokens. Lyra Dawnbringer buffs all our angel tokens up to 5-5 and gives them lifelink to boot. Shall I? Voice of Plenty helps to protect the army we've amassed by giving them all hexproof, but remains vulnerable itself. There's some big payoffs included for having so many creatures on the table. Galter should cost next to nothing to cast. Impervious Great Worm goes even bigger, it's a 16-16 with Convoke and is indestructible. World Soul Colossus also has Convoke, but has a more flexible approach to its power and toughness. Then there's Trostani Discordance, providing an anthem effect and fighting against the evil pirates and red elder dinos of the world. March of Multitudes has shot up in value since it was spoiled, and rightly so, creating a crazy amount of tokens in one go is powerful stuff. Camaraderie is a massive hand refiller and keeps the old life total topped up too. Join Shields is a neat party trick, hexproof and indestructible is a potent combo. History of Benalia continues to be a really strong card and alongside the assemble half of Assure Assemble, we could have some very hench knights running around. Shana doesn't help advance our token strat but does get pretty huge. Bounty Agent is just too good at sniping out commanders not to include here. So we have a number of splashy cards that will draw the heat from our opponents around the table, and some of them we'd prefer to stick around, so here's a trio of green recursion spells. Gaia's Blessing, Nature's Spiral, and Vivid Revival are all top draw. As we're in white, it's Board Wipe Galore, Cleansing Nova, Settle the Wreckage, and Citywide Bust are all here as last resorts, as it'll be a shame to wipe our own board. A couple of lockdown enchantments are in here for good measure, Seal Away and Conclave Tribunal, and then Broken Bond is thrown in for pesky artifacts or enchantments. Planeswalker time! Vivian is a powerhouse of a walker. 
if we can hit that emblem, then all our tokens become that much more deadly. Huatli, Radiant Champion, is massive amounts of card draw. Imagine having her emblem out and then casting a massive march of the multitudes. Finally, for even more draw, the Shaper Sanctuary, just in case we weren't drawing enough cards. Mana base next, and we start off with Jewel Lands. There's four available to us in Selesnia colours currently. Temple Garden, Sun Petal Grove, Tranquil Expanse, and Selesnia Guildgate. A touch of utility to our lands next. Detection Tower, Field of Ruin for those pesky flip lands. I'm looking at you, search for Azkanta. Arch of Arazka, and then Evolving Wilds. Memorial to Glory gives us even more token generation, and we round it all off with eight planes and seven forests. And there you have it, my Amara Selesnia tokens, Brawl Deck Tech. If you haven't already, please remember to like, slash comment, slash share. Don't forget to subscribe, and then head over to Arcane Cards for your MTG singles. Thanks so much for watching, catch you all on the next one. Cheers!